Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today we've got a special request tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to draw Mickey Mouse from Steamboat Willie. So come on, let's get started. Alright guys, well, today we're going to draw Mickey Mouse from Steamboat Willie. Sean's requested this after discovering the old Mickey Mouse cartoons of the 20s and 30s, and I'm wicked excited that he likes them that much. Those cartoons are terrific, so if you have the means, get yourself a copy of those because those are classics. Guys, don't forget, stick around till the end because I've got some viewer submissions to show you. Okay, so, as you can imagine, we're going to start with a circle. But you'll notice I'm drawing the circle kind of to the side here. And that's because we're going to go for that iconic image of Mickey at the helm of the steamboat. So, we've got that circle. And I'm going to draw in his center axis line right here to the side. He's going to be looking that way. All right now what we're going to do is we're going to throw in his ears first now his ears were a lot smaller in the beginning so we've got one here on the side and we've got one up here like this like i said when he, when they first started drawing him his ears were a lot smaller than they are now so from there what i want to do is i'm going to just draw the hat in right now because i'm here at the ears why not so we've got this tall hat here like this and it's kind of shaped like Goofy's hat. So we've got this this C shape up here like this and then we've got the back side of the hat just like so. I'm going to give it that emblem here on the front here. It's kind of like a shield shape like that and then I'll just throw in the visor to that hat, just like so. Okay, now with Mickey Mouse, there are certain things that have not changed, and that is when Mickey's to the side, one ear goes up here, the other ear goes back there. And when you draw him from the side, his nose comes in like this. Okay. So we got that there. And back then, Mickey Mouse's nose was longer than it is today. There are all kinds of reasons for that, and I might actually do a history of Mickey Mouse's design sometime soon. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so here, let's dock in some of these lines, so just in case you need to see it a little better. Okay, now, just like Mickey Mouse today, we've got those oval shapes. Now the oval shapes have never moved, but the difference is that hairline, let's see, let's keep the convention here. There is a reason why this hairline uh, follows the, the shape of the eye, and that's because Originally, this hairline was the eye. So here, what you're looking at is a big, wide-open set of eyes. And back in the 40s, they changed it so that he had whites in his eyes and skin tone. That was just to make the character more expressive looking later on. Okay, so we've got the basic shape of his head here. I'm going to follow this shape in here for the laugh line here. And now I'm not going to connect the corner of his mouth to this laugh line because the style back in the day had that line stop right up in here. Okay. Now his mouth used to open a lot wider than it does today. So there's his big wide open mouth. His tongue used to be a lot bigger. And I'm just gonna draw this in even though I'm gonna obscure this shape in a little bit. Okay, so here we go. There is Steamboat Willie's face, just like so. Okay, now, we want him 
at the helm of the wheel, right? And while he's doing this, he's whistling and he's dancing. So we've got his head in here. I'm going to give him an action line like this. And now here's the rule when drawing in his body. The main part of his body, or his hip area, is the same size as his head. So we're going to figure out his body just like that okay now we're going to connect it with his chest and his upper torso just like that and now we'll give it a little bit of volume by giving the waistband of his shorts just like that all right from there we're going to want to figure out where his feet are going to go and we want to counterbalance right so what we're going to want to do is figure that his foot is going to go right about here so we've got this one leg like this notice it's very thin His other leg is going to be at the same angle, it's just going to be over a little bit, just like this. Now back in the day, Mickey wore short shorts. That is correct. They're not nearly as long as they are today. So we got that line like that. And his other leg to his shorts goes out like this. Okay. His feet, his shoes were a little squared off back then because they were just figuring out his design. So they're not nearly as rounded as they are today. Like that. And the other one. We'll push in this angle here like this. And now he's tapping his foot in the cartoon. So they really push that angle to really sell that his foot is like this. Okay, he's got a sole to his shoe, just like that. He's got the heel, and just like so. I'm gonna give him the two buttons, like that. Let's draw in his arms and the wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with his right arm in the back here because I know that it didn't extend too far away from his face. Now well, here we go. All right, before we do anything else, let's figure out where the spokes are gonna go on this wheel. Okay, so notice I'm drawing right through it, just like so. I'm going to figure out the center 
so we can figure out where the where the wheel turns from okay and I'm going to draw the inside of the wheel like this now if this were going to be a, a professional composition I would have used stencils and such to make sure that this wheel was completely straight it's not cheating if you are smart about it okay all right so we've got one wheel like this now there are six there are six handles on this wheel so let's let's draw in this line like this and finally we're going to draw this line like this Okay, now that I've done that, I know where I'm going to put in the handles to this wheel. Now I'm drawing nice and lightly. Hopefully I'm not drawing so lightly that you can't see what I'm doing. But all of this stuff is going to get erased once I draw in my final lines. Got the front face of that wheel is right in here, like this. Rather important that we remember that. Okay, so now that we've got that, I can Sometimes it gets a little confusing the more lines you've got down. So don't worry about it. That's why God invented the eraser. And besides, we can cut ourselves some slack. This is just for fun. Okay. So we got circle there, circle here, and... Okay. There's another handle here. It always cracked me up when looking at this that Mickey actually doesn't use this handle for some reason. His hand grabs the inside of the spoke. Okay, so I've got this hand roughly drawn in here. And now I'm going to draw that line right in here. And you'll notice that this arm is way longer than this one because of the animation techniques they used back then called rubber hose animation and squash and stretch. So squash and stretch would be like if, if Mickey were to land on the ground from a high jump and his body would actually squash down quite a bit before he got back up. When you stretch, obviously his limbs would stretch out a lot longer than what they normally are. So they imposed a lot of those principles when cartooning this short. Okay, now the only thing left to draw in is his tail. All right, guys, now that we've got the character drawn, let's do some finished line work. Now, one thing you may or may not know about Steamboat Willie, this was not Mickey Mouse's first cartoon. This was Mickey's third cartoon created. This was the first one to be released in the theaters. When sound was introduced to movies back in 1928, Walt wanted to jump on the craze and decided that the cartoon they were currently creating would be the very first sound cartoon. When a financer stole Oswald the Lucky Rabbit away from Walt Disney. They created Mickey Mouse um, as a secret project. The simplicity of the design made for some really, really quick animation, which was actually very important. They rushed to get Steamboat Willie animated 
and out in the theaters before anybody even knew about it. So this cartoon was created in complete secrecy. Ub Iwerks was his animator on this project. Um, all of his drawings were tucked into his, his uh, desk drawers at the end of the day. Um, that's why it's very simplistic. It had to be created very quickly. When Steamboat Willie was released on November 18th, 1928, the soundtrack was performed live in front of the audience. Walt provided the voice of Mickey and Minnie, and um, he had his crew play the music, whistle, and perform all of the sound effects right in front of the audience. It was such a hit, they were able to record the soundtrack, attach it to the film, and from then on, every cartoon creation would have full sound effects added to the cartoon. Now, Mickey Mouse's tail is only visible when it's necessary. You'll notice a lot of times Mickey doesn't have a tail. That's because it had served no purpose for the drawing. Same thing with his pockets. His, his shorts have pockets, but only when he needs them. All right, guys, there's Steamboat Willie. And like I promised, here are some viewer submissions that I've got for you. I've got a really terrific Simba drawn by Aslan. This is a gorgeous job, very nice. The next drawing we have is by Luca. We have BB-8. Awesome job. Check out that movement in the drawing. Kicking up that dust. Nice job. And the next one we have is by Sean. We've got a still life. This is a stuffed animal of a giraffe. It's gorgeous. Look at the weight in this drawing. Just very nice. Look at the, the volume. Awesome job. Guys, these are terrific. I love your submissions. Send me some more. I'll throw them in a future video. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed drawing with me. If you did, give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. Um, I've got a brand new Teespring shop. The link is in the description. Thank you again for watching and um, we will see you later.